Let us continue chapter 7 coordinate geometry question number 6. We have PXY. It is a point equidistant that means equal length from point A and B. We have to show that X minus Y equal 3. Uh, P is equidistant from A and B which is at equal length that means. So we can write PA equal PB. So since it is a distance, we can use distance formula. P and A one side, P and B one side. Then we'll replace what we know. Then we try to get what the question want us to prove. So if we read the question again, we have point P is equidistant from A and B. So that means I can write PA equal PB according to the question. So, PA with P and A. So, X and 6, Y and minus 1. X minus 6, then here we have double minus, 1 minus from formula, 1 minus from here. So, minus 2 minus become plus whole square. Then here we have P and B. X and 2, Y and 3. So, X minus 2 whole square plus Y minus 3 whole square. Both sides are equal, square root we can cancel. Then here now we have one alphabet, one number. We can apply A minus B whole square. So it become A square minus 2 into A into B because A is X, B is 6 plus B square. Then here again, the second part we can apply A plus B whole square. Then we have our A is Y, our B is 1 become y square plus 2 into 1 into y plus 1 square. Then here also 1 alphabet, 1 number. So we can apply same formula, a minus b whole square. Our a is x, our b is 2. So x square minus 2ab, 2 come from the formula, ab come from here, plus b square. Then here also 1 alphabet, 1 formula uh, sorry one alphabet one number we cannot minus we can apply a minus b whole square so it'll become a square minus 2ab plus b square then if we compare from both side we have x square plus the other side also x square plus so we can cancel because we don't want them at the end then here also we have y square y square both with plus sign so we can cancel then next, here we have minus 2 into 6, 12x, plus 6 into 6, 36. Then we have plus 2y, plus 1 into 1, 1. Here, 2 into 2, 4x, minus 4x, plus 2 into 2, 4, minus 2 into 3, 6y, plus 9. 3 into 3, 9. So, let's see what we can do. Okay, those which have x, bring one side. Those which do not have, bring them to the other side. So here we have minus 12x. This is minus, bring the side become plus. Then we have 2y. Here we have minus 6y. Minus, if I take the side, become plus. Then here we have 36 plus 1, 37. Carry the other side, become minus. Then plus 4 plus 9, 13, they already decide. Then here, x and x, we can combine together. This one plus, this one minus. So we can minus 12 minus 4 will be 8. 12 is greater. In front of 12, we have minus. Then 6 and y, both are plus. We can plus. Then here, 1 minus, 1 plus. So minus, we get minus 24. But the question one has to prove only x minus y equal 3. Here we have 8, 8 and 24. So we can divide throughout by 8. Let's do it with minus 8 because we want minus in the middle. So minus to minus plus 8 divide 8 will be 1. Then minus to plus become minus. 8 divide 8 become 1. Then minus to minus plus 24 we divide by 8 it will equal to 3 which is the what the question one so we prove it okay then continue number seven more or less same we have pxy equidistant from the point a and b then we have to prove that x equal y 
So here also clearly they mention equidistant that mean at equal length from point A and B which mean PA is equal to PB. So since they are equal we can use the distance formula. Uh, PA that mean P and A. Here we have XY. Here we have 5, 1. So it will be X and 5, Y and 1. So they are joined in the middle with minus from the distance formula. Then PB, X and 1, Y and 5. So it will be X minus 1 plus Y minus 5 whole square. Both sides are equal. We can cancel the square root. Then now... Here, one alphabet, one number. We cannot cancel, we cannot minus. We applied formula A minus B whole square. Our A is X, our B is 5. So, it will become X square minus 2AB plus B square. Then here also, one alphabet, one number. We cannot minus, so we apply A minus B whole square. Our A is Y, our B is 1. So, it will become y square minus 2 into a into b plus b square here again one alphabet one number we cannot minus apply the same formula so a square minus 2ab plus b square here also one alphabet one number we apply the same formula a minus b whole square will become y square minus 2ab plus b square then if we compare both sides, we have plus x square plus x square. We can cancel. We have plus 5 square plus 5 square. Okay, we cancel because if we bring them one side, they will minus automatically become 0. So y square, then here also y square both plus, we can cancel. So this side we are left with 2 into 5, 10. We have it minus sign. Here also with minus 2 into 1 will be 2. This side we have x with minus 2 into 1, 2. 2 into 5 will be 10. Then we want to prove x equal y. So let's bring x one side, y one side. So this is minus, this is minus, take the other side, become plus. Then this one already minus, this is minus, take the other side, become plus. Then here xx, now we can minus, 1 minus, 1 plus, so minus. 10 minus 2 will be 8. 10 is greater. We can put minus. Then here also, 10 minus 2, 8. 10 is greater. We put minus. So minus minus can be cancelled. 8, 8 can be cancelled. So we get x equal to 4, which proved the question. We move on to question number 8. Here also they say, we have to find value of x and y. Then the distance of the point, if I name this one p, it is equal from minus 3, 0 as well as 3, 0. And at the same time, they give us the value of that distance, it is equal to 4. So we have to find x and y. So since they say equal distance, we can write this one and this one equal from this one and this one. Then we can use distance formula okay so if i name this uh, point as p a b so from the question i can write that p a equal p b at the same time it is equal to 4 so let us apply the distance formula between p and a so x and minus 3 y and 0 we have x minus from the formula another minus from question then here we have y minus 0 then p and b so it will be x minus 3 y minus 2 whole square which is still equal to 4 then uh, let us separate only we take this 2 first okay p a equal p b 4 we'll see later on then here we have minus 2 minus plus y minus 0 become y with square x minus 3 will be same then y minus 0, we are left with y. So let us take only the first part first. 4, we'll see later on. So here both are equal. Square root can be cancelled. One num uh, alphabet, one number. We cannot plus, so we apply formula a plus b whole square. So it will become our a is x, b is 3. x square plus 2 into 3 into x plus 3 square. Then y square remain same. 
then here also x minus 3 whole square our x is a is x b is 3 so it will become x square minus 2ab plus b square then this one remains same y square y square we can cancel both side because same 3 square 3 square y square y square so we are left with 2 into 3 6x this side also we are left minus 2 into 3 6x so this is minus take the side become plus then here nothing left we are left with 0 so 6x plus 6x equal 12 which is equal to 0 so the value of x will be 0 divided by 12 we get it 0 now we want y so we can take any one of this equal to 4 okay then we replace value of x already given 0 then in order to remove square root we can put square so 0 minus 3 become 3 3 into 3 9 then this is plus take the side become minus so we minus it we get 7 then we want only y we put square root in front of square root we used to get plus minus so that means we get value of x is 0 value of y is plus minus root 7